Okay, in that case, uh, let's move on. This paper is gonna be very fast. This is about data augmentation. We know that data augmentation helps images. It helps text. Is it gonna help speech as well for the cases when you have a smaller data sets, smaller size data sets? Maybe for English, you have a lot of speech data, but for other languages, maybe you don't have as much data. We are gonna take a look at our log ML spectrogram. That's our data. This is without any augmentation. And we are going to do three types of data augmentation. One is time warping. What is that? You pick six points, six anchor points on your spectrogram. And then you are going to take one of these points at random in between, in between. And then you are going to shift it to the left or to the right. And that's going to warp your speech. And this is going to have some parameters like tau is the size of your spectrogram. W is going to be the time warp parameter. It's a hyperparameter that you choose. And the W is just some random number. It's uniform from zero to W. And it's going to tell you how much you want to go left or right. That's warping. In terms of implementation, at least in TensorFlow, there is this sparse image warp. There is this function that you can use. You apply it on your data set. What next? Frequency masking is that you're going to mask. Visually speaking, it's very simple. You're going to mask this part of your frequency. But then when you want to implement it, you want to mask F consecutive frequencies. So this is going to be the size F. This is F that you choose at random from uh, a uniform distribution. And F is a hyperparameter that you choose, capital F. F0 is where you're going to cut. And uh, new is the number of male frequency channels. But visually speaking, it's not that hard. That's what you're doing. You can do time masking. You mask a portion of your time. What happens if you don't have data in that regime? And then you're gonna have different types of augmentation policies. You can do this multiple times. For instance, you can mask multiple frames. And these are your data sets, like Libre Speech Basic, Libre Speech Double, Switchboard Mild, Switchboard Strong. And you can do different types of uh, masking on them. W is for warping. F is for frequency, the hyperparameters of your frequency. Tau is for your tau masking, time masking. MF is the number of frequencies that you're going to mask. One, two, the probability of uh, doing that mask or not doing it. And MT is the number of time mask that you're going to apply. In the end, you're going to get some figures like this. You can do multiple of them. And these are the type of augmentations that are going to happen to your data. I think I'm going to stop here and the rest of it I'm going to cover next session. For those of you who have questions, I'll be around.